Pension B is a popular and specialist pension investing service with over half a million people on its books. We think it has lots of great features and knows its retirement niche really well. Watch as we do a website run through and give it our steps to investing score. Hi, I'm Marcus De Silva and welcome to the Steps to Investing product and service reviews where we look at the UK's major investing platforms and review essential parts of the business to help you find the right service for your investing needs. My business partner Simon Longfellow and I have been in the industry for over 30 years with Simon and I having worked at investment platforms as well as the companies that run and manage the funds. It means we know exactly what to look for when it comes to choosing investments and investment services. Now our reviews are gonna focus on two types of platform. DIY platforms like Interactive Investor, which are full service and wide ranging, and then what we call do it with me platforms, also known as robo advisors or digital wealth managers sometimes, which are quicker and easier to get investing, but more limited generally in terms of the service and investments they offer. Analysis of this platform and many, many more are available on our website for free. So please go to stepstoinvesting.com. Okay, Pension B. It was founded in 2014 by Romina Savova, who had experienced such a torrid time moving her old pensions that she decided there must be a better way. With a proposition that focuses on consolidating all of your old pensions into one place, making them really easy to manage, she created Pension B as a specialist do it with me service with a narrow focus on retirement. Now, while this doesn't work for everyone, we applaud it nonetheless. Saving for retirement is by far the most important financial goal you'll ever have in your life. So a specialist in this regard makes it a really easy one to tackle. The website also has a nice Goldilocks balance between too much and too little information. In this review, we're gonna assess five areas of the business. We're gonna have a look at the investment accounts that are available, the kinds of investments you can make, then the account features, customer support services, and of course the all important costs. We'll then finish with our overall rating for the platform. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all of our latest videos. Okay, let's get on to having a little look at the site. And um, here we are on the home page. As you can see, their whole pension proposition is front and center. 658,000 customers as well. Really quite impressive haul in terms of the amount of time that they've been going since only 2014. Really incredible there. So good stuff. You can see the tri trust pilot scores there are pretty positive as well. So people are quite pleased with the service. And then you can see here, these are the kind of like the three main things that you need to think about when it comes to setting up a pension. So just as a little reminder, okay, there's kind of three types of pension. There's the state pension, which you pay for through your national insurance contributions. You need 35 years if you wanna get the full state pension, which would give you about 179 pounds a week currently, there and thereabouts. So you've got the state pension, everyone's entitled to that. And then you can have a workplace pension or a private pension, like a SIP, a self-invested personal pension. Now your workplace pension, that tends to be something that you contribute through your, your salary, and then your employer usually contributes something as well, depending on the plan that you're in, and then the government will give you some tax relief. Whereas a private pension tends to be you will contribute something and then the government will give you a, some, a tax relief, right? So just focusing on the sort of private pension there, the way it works is you can Contribute, well actually this is across both private and your workplace pension, you can contribute up to £40,000 a year or up to 100% of earnings, so it, it depends, um, and you will get automatically paid into your pension pot the basic rate of tax. So you'll get a 25% bonus basically, so every £4 that goes in, HMRC will pay in £1 into your pension pot. And then if you're a higher rate taxpayer, you can claim extra relief through self-assessment. So it's really generous in terms of, of, of that. And then on top of that, 
Anything that goes on within a pension similar to an ISA is free of any taxes as well. So you get no capital gains taxes, no taxes on dividends, no taxes on interest. So really, really generous and a very, very good way to sort of save for your retirement. So as I said, these are the kind of three, three kind of stages of three things to think about with your pensions. Let's start with combining. Now this is something, I mean, Pension B was so clever through their marketing campaigns. Part of what's built them up to be so big is because they went out there with a message saying, look, we'll make it really easy to combine all your old pensions into one pot to make it really easy to manage just from your phone, just from an app. And truth is, almost any pension provider would do that for you. Pension B, because it's a narrow focus, they're only focused on this, they really thought about the value that they can add along the way, and they do make this really, really easy. I think the other thing is that they've appreciated that many of us now have many jobs. We don't tend to stay in one place, so we might have many different little pots, and it's quite easy to lose sight of them and even remember that you've got them. And actually, there are hundreds of millions um, of pounds of, of pension money just just sat um, uh, and, and being unclaimed. So this is a really good idea. They make it, they make it very easy for you to, to bring them under, under uh, one pot. They sort of say, give us as much information as you possibly can. We'll go out there and find it. Do you know what? We'll even take an electronic copy of your signature and then we've got this robot called Army that will sign away anything that we need to sign in order to, to get your pensions into one place. Of course, you'll, you'll know about it, but it just makes it really easy. They don't have to send you letters and you sign it then you send it off. Um, so I think that is a, a really great part of the service. The other thing to mention as well is if there's any costs that are more than £10, then they'll, they'll get in contact with you and ask you about that. But the main thing is, is if there's any benefits that are attached to old pensions, then they will get in contact and do the necessaries. Because there are these, these types of pensions called defined benefit um, pensions. These aren't the only benefits that, that are out there. There are actually a big long list, but this is just one of the major ones, right? There used to be this type of pension called a defined benefit pension that was very generous. And basically what it said is when you retire, you will get a guaranteed level of income for the rest of your life until you die. The problem is, is as time has moved on, people have, have lived longer and longer. It's meant that these funds have really struggled under the weight of, of providing these guaranteed incomes. Over time, it's shifted to now is we have something called defined contribution uh, pensions. They're a lot more common these days. And what, bill, what defines the pension that you have at the end of it is the contributions that go into that pension, right? So rather than it being something that promises you a benefit, it's something that you build and it's as, you know, depending on what contributions you want to make to it will depend on the retirement you have at the end of it. So DC defined contributions are a lot more common and that's what this pension B is offering. Defined benefits are not so common. They don't tend to be in the private industry anymore. Some public sectors still have um, defined benefit. So I thought I'd just quickly sort of explain, explain those two. Um, so anyway, they'll get in contact, they'll check if there's any benefits like that. They'll, they'll make sure that you're notified and are aware because actually with something like a defined benefit um, pension, if it's more than 30,000 pounds, by law, you have to speak to a financial advisor before you do anything with it. So uh, that's part of the reason why. So uh, I think that's, they make that all really easy. They also give you your own personalized, um, what they call a beekeeper. So a person that will communicate with you regularly about these things. And then you have an account and I think they call it a beehive, which is, you know, lots of nice branding around all of these things, good, good terms and stuff. And they've got some nice content. Here is Faith Archer. Now we know Faith Archer because she writes in our magazine. She's one of our resident journalists, um, uh, award-winning journalist, I may add. She's done some really nice videos for the sites. So let's, uh, so I think that, that makes it really simple. Oh yeah, and then of course support as well. I mean, some of the robo-advisors don't always offer phone support and you know, uh, they've really thought about it here. So we think it's a really good, good part of the service. Okay, let's move back to the home page and have a little look at contributions. So they make it really easy to contribute. There's no minimum there, which I think is probably quite an attractive, uh, quite an attractive thing. You can see there this um, basic rate top up that you automatically receive into your account. You can see it going in there. So uh, yeah, that shows you that 25% bonus. As I said, 
you can get more if you're a higher rate um, taxpayer. Quite like the fact that you've got this calculator as well. Um, so you can sort of imagine the potential, you know, what you could win really if you, you know, depending on the range of what they expect the investments to, how they expect them to perform. So it's, it projects how big your pot might become and therefore, you know, what kind of benefit you might have at the end of it. Okay, and then as we said, there was sort of three elements to it. Let's go back to the home page again and just have a look at the withdrawal part. So as it stands with a private pension, you're allowed to access that pension at 55 years old. That's gonna ri rise to 57 in 2028. Um, so at that point, you can then go and um, draw money out of it. And basically there are two, two kind of bits to your portfolio. You're allowed to take 25% of your portfolio at that age tax-free and do you know, whatever you want with it. Um, and then the remaining 75% of the portfolio is taxable. And when you start entering that part of the portfolio, you go into something called flexible drawdown. And it's quite important because then you lose a lot of benefits. So at that point, you can't then keep topping up the portfolio and getting your, your tax benefits. You actually lose a lot of them. It goes down from 40,000, as I said, that you're allowed per year, down to 4,000. So Faith actually explains it very nicely here. So there are some decisions to make when it comes to, to drawing down um, your portfolio. So I think that's, that was really interesting. And I think um, uh, plenty of videos here from Faith. Uh, it can be a bit complex. Actually, at that point, sometimes people do quite like to speak to a financial advisor because there's a few different things that you can do. You can, as I, as I said, you can draw down your portfolio and just take that money as and when you wish. You've got to consider the tax implications because on that taxable portion, you are subject to income tax. The other thing you can do is buy a guaranteed income stream. It's known as an annuity. So you could take the whole pot and just turn around to an annuity provider and say, okay, what income stream will this buy me for the rest of my life with this pot? And they'll, they'll give you a figure for that. That those, the, the rates that you get on annuities are linked to interest rates. So in recent years, it hasn't been that great. Um, what some people do when they get to retirement is they do a mix of both. So they have an annuity that covers a lot of their costs to make sure that they don't need to worry about that. And then with the remaining portion, they just use drawdown and just draw in that um, as they wish. But what uh, Pension B do, they have, they have a number of different investment plans and we're gonna go into that. And they do here at the bottom of this page sort of talk about the different plans that, you, that might be appropriate depending on what, what you wanna do, you know, and how far away you are from, from your retirement. So they do offer sort of um, some guidance uh, when it comes to sort of approaching retirement as well. So that's that final kind of phase. Thing is, we look at generally the breadth of accounts and unfortunately a very narrow provider like this doesn't score that well in our, in our rating system. So we gave it one out of five. Okay, so let's get on to the investment side of things. And we're actually gonna, we're gonna come back to this when we get onto the sort of approaching retirement bit, but I'm just gonna take you um, back to the homepage and we'll have a little look at what kind of investment solutions that they have. So you can see here about our plans and we'll go into that. And they've, you know, I, I really like what they've, they've done in terms of the investments here. They've really thought about what is best for retirement, as you kind of expect. Um, and they haven't, you know, they haven't made it too complex. There are seven portfolios. Um, so you kind of got this is their just standard kind of tracker. It's low cost. This is about you know, spreading your investments quite widely. You've then got um, this, which they sort of call their most popular um, portfolio. These are what you call target date funds. So these will have a, a number of portfolios that you can choose depending on when you want to retire. So it will be a date like 2050. And then what will happen is over time, those portfolios will automatically switch your investments from riskier assets like shares, having a much bigger portion of shares, into having a much smaller portion of shares and a much bigger portion of safer assets like bonds. So that's what a target date portfolio will do. It will target the date that you roughly want to retire and then over time shift the investments into much safer assets. 
So it's, they're really popular. I think this one, let's just have a little look at the, uh, this is run by BlackRock. And actually you can see here the number, the years here, here it is to retirement. This is when you're planning to retire. And you can see the portion of equities, of, of riskier assets like equities and property reduces over time as you get closer to your retirement date. The portion of safer assets like bonds and gilts, things like that, they get much larger as a proportion of, of the portfolio over time. So they're very, they're very popular and they're just a really, really simple way of um, sort of saving for retirement and not having to worry about what we call the asset allocation, thinking about that mix of assets that you need to invest in. So if we go back here, we have a, um, for those who have got a bit more of a sustainability kind of focus that they want to look at, that sort of investment lens that they want to look at is with a sustainability lens on that. Um, this will, you know, exclude you know, some of the sin industries like oil or tobacco or arms, things like that, so that you're kind of investing in things that, that aren't sort of doing some of those nastier, nastier things. Um, it's all shares, so it is a bit higher risk, this one. That's just something to note there. I think we're gonna go back to the homepage, we are. And then let's have a look at some of the other portfolios. So we've also got ah, a Sharia portfolio here. I thought this was a really interesting um, uh, investment option here. It's for uh, those of uh, Islamic faith and who want to invest in Sharia compliant companies. Um, so th that portfolio will do that. I thought that was a, quite a nice niche. And then you've got these three portfolios, 4 Plus, Preserve and Pre-Annuity, which are for the bit when you're getting near to retirement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to when we were having a, uh, a look at the um, at the part where we withdraw and then you've got these final three portfolios and um, these are basically as you're approaching retirement uh, these portfolios are designed for the different things that you might want to do with your pot so you've got this four plus portfolio which is aiming to give you four percent above um, the cash rate and that's for those who are looking to just draw down their portfolios. They've then got this pre-annuity portfolio and the costs are meant to correspond with that of purchasing an annuity. That was that guaranteed income stream that we talked about. So this portfolio will be uh, filled with lower risk assets because you might be using that in order to go and buy, you know, that pot to go and buy an annuity. Or they've got this very low risk option, which is basically puts it into super low risk assets. Uh, and this just preserves your cash so that you have that, you know, you, you know that you can rely that, that the value of that pot is gonna sort of remain the same as you approach retirement. So these, they sort of talk about thinking about um, switching to these portfolios as you're about five years away from retirement. So we think all in all, you know, with these seven, it's a, it's a trim selection, but they're really well thought through. The costs are very low on them. Um, so we think this is, you know, it's, it's, it's a great investment selection. All in all, we scored it three out of five. Okay, next up, we had a little look at the account features. So we're looking at stuff like how much support it gives you, like advice or um, whether there's sort of like monthly investing is available or kind of extra kind of uh, learning as well and help with investing and stuff. And I think, you know, Pension V was a bit light on this. They do do monthly investing. So they enable you to put in uh, monthly amounts and, and do it quite cheaply and, and just drip feed that into the stock markets, which is sort of the best thing to do over time because stock markets can be quite volatile. So trying to time the best um, uh, moment when, you know, uh, depending on where the market is, is very hard to do. And even professionals don't really do that. So they do have that. And I think the other thing that we quite liked on the site here is um, their kind of knowledge center, really. And they got this, uh, this quite interesting set of, of academy um, uh, videos and very well presented here. Um, so, you know, all that stuff is actually really useful when you're trying to sort of, you know, understand all, all the kind of technical details behind pensions, which can be a bit complex as well. Um, what else did they have in the knowledge section here? They also had like this pension calculator as well. So sort of imagining, uh, I sort of showed you this a little bit earlier, but this is this is it really. It sort of imagines the potential of where your investments might, you know, go over time and, and, and how they might grow and what you'll be left with at the end of it. 
Um, and the third one here was, yeah, the sort of drawdown calculator as well, just for you to sort of imagine how you can then use your pot when it comes to um, uh, uh, actually drawing an income from your pension. But all in all, you know, it is a bit light. Robo-advisors do tend to be sort of a bit like this. So we scored it just one out of five. Okay, we then looked at some of the other services that um, uh, Pension B sort of support you with. Um, you know, they do have chat apps that are kind of throughout the site and that's very, very good. As I say, they got this, you've got this beekeeper that's sort of assigned to you. You've got this hub called the beehive. Um, all of that stuff is actually quite nice. Um, and, um, uh, you know, they've obviously really thought about that kind of customer service kind of support side of things. Um, so I think, you know, um, pretty good on this side of things, really, given that many other robo advisors can be a bit light and it can be quite hard to get on the phone to someone and they're also you know they know their stuff about pensions as well which is very useful in sort of giving you that comfort when you when you're sort of building that pot so I think they do really well here we scored it five out of five okay and then the final bit to mention is the fees and you know I think Pension B is is pretty um, it's pretty competitive when it comes to fees. They're not going to charge you anything for all that work that it that it takes to get your um, old pensions into the service. There may be an exit fee from old providers, but they'll get your permission, as I said, if it's more than ten pounds. I think the other thing that they do really nicely is usually with an investment service you have your investment fees, which the fund will charge, and then you have your platform fee which your service provider tends to charge. They put everything together just to make it really easy to understand. So you've got both your investment and platform fees in here. And then what they say is their bit, I think, will halve on your portion uh, over 100 grand. So as soon as you start, yeah, going over that 100 grand bit, then that extra over 100 grand will start getting charged lower fees and you can see it reflected here so you see there's no change there's no change and then when we go over 100 grand we can see that starts to change and of course that cheaper part of your portfolio over 100 grand becomes a bigger and bigger part of the equation as, as we have more and more money here so you can see the fees gradually drop uh, further and further um, so i think that's really quite interesting i think the other thing as well is you can see it in its in its pound uh, cost, you know, you can actually see what it will, will cost you. It's not just an out of lorem thing that they do here. So you can see how that changes um, depending on the amount of money that you want to invest. So I think, you know, these are pretty competitive. Um, we like this and we think it's a really easy way of understanding what your fees are as well. Um, so it did really well in this section, actually. We scored it five out of five. Okay, in conclusion, specialized in pensions, Pension B really know this niche well. It's a simple service that finds and brings together all of your old pensions into one easy to manage place. There are some really interesting investment options for different stages of building your pension pot. It's also pretty cost effective. The only reason the score's not higher is because we look at the breadth of service and this is only for one particular goal, so it's not gonna serve all of your investing needs. Overall, we score it three out of five.